West Ham is Ryland's club, but as a lifelong supporter, he hasn't always been welcomed here. I have been subject to abuse at games before. You know, certain things are shouted out as insults and you think, it's not right, like you can't really do that, you can't really say that. How does that feel? Because it's your club, you're a fan, and yeah. yet you get abused it's, and it's 2024. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels ridiculous. People can say I'm terrible at my job, people can say I've got big teeth, I wear too much makeup, that don't bother me. But when someone goes at me because I'm gay, I'm like, and? I love coming to West Ham. Roland Clark has now made a documentary exploring the difficult relationship football has with homophobia. I come out of Stepney Green, so if you cut me open, I bleed claret, a bit of blue as well. As a gay fan myself, didn't even realise there's a collection of people called Pride of Irons, which is a collection of gay fans that come to the football matches together. Just to feel a bit more safer and to educate people, like, we're fans as well, you know, it's a game for everyone, football. There's a sequence where you get beaten up as a young boy. Yeah. Would you class that as a homophobic attack? I mean, look, I was, uh, I think, 10, 11 years old and I was over the park with my friends and I was pulled off of a rope swing and, and had my head fractured. And the reasoning behind that was just because I was playing with the girls. Yeah, I mean, it's something that's been part of my life since I can ever remember. But now when I'm an adult and a six foot four one at that, I don't normally take it lying down no more. Again, I keep saying it's 2024, but yeah, it's 2024 and you, we're yet to have a Premier League footballer yeah. who's openly gay in the men's game. Mm. How crazy is that? In the documentary, we touch on the women's game a lot. And I think it's more rare to be straight in the women's game than it is gay. I mean, I don't expect a Premier League player to watch the doc and go, well, look, Ryland said it's going to be all right, let's, let's come out. But what I hope it does do is just shine a light more so on on the fans, on people that love the game. Everyone's in this stadium for exactly the same reason. And maybe it'll just make people think twice about some of the insults they use. You get quite angry at the end, or maybe not angry, but just passionate <laughs> about it. And it's great, because it is quite a frustrating yeah. thing that, you know, why are we even talking about it? It should be just... Yeah, I hate, I hate it. I hate the fact that it is 2024 and I'm being asked to do a documentary about homophobia in football. It's ridiculous. It's, it's sad actually when you think about it i'm not doing this documentary for a paycheck and i'm not doing it for a day out I'm doing it because unfortunately it still is a thing and if i was to tell 10 year old me that in 25 years time you're still going to be worried about this it's not great is it